In this Wilcom quick tip, we're going to take a quick look at the stitch list in your Docker toolbar. And in particular, I'm going to show you how you can better identify what thread color those stitches are. So what is the stitch list? Well, unlike the color object list, which shows large blocks of colors and the objects inside those colors, the stitch list, which is also located on your Docker's toolbar, and it's this icon here, shows all the independent stitches that are in your design, including all the functions that are associated with that design. So that means you can go into a function, you can select on it, you can right click, and you can modify or insert other functions. But again, when you've got a large design with lots of stitches, it's a little bit hard to tell which color these stitches associate with unless you kind of zoom in on the color change uh, stitch and see that's color number four, which is this one here. But there's an easier way. If you right click anywhere on your stitch list and change from black text to colored text, it will now show the threads in the same thread color that is used in the embroidery design. And now if you still find the thread color a bit hard to read on the gray background of the stitch list, you can also right click on the stitch list, go to background and choose a new background color to give more contrast for your stitches in your stitch list. And that's your Wilcom quick tip.